you're a nasty little... Oh, Merry Christmas to you and all. <laughs> Merry Christmas. We're having a party here from three for Rita. Jenny's fetching her from the hospital now. Right, OK, uh, see you later then. You got a good bleed under that nail. Hmm? It's all right. Ooh, love just finding a good subungal hematoma. You what? I've got a drill, or I could uh, stick a hot needle down there. Thank you. Off. All right. See yourself. Not slept in there, have you? No. Mr. Dozed off, waiting for devs to open. What's well, a corner shop? It's not a stormsy gig. People don't queue overnight. Do you need anything? A blanket or...? You still not heard from Vicky? No. Look, I'll tell you what, I'll make you a coffee, eh? Oh, thanks. Uh, no. No, no, that's not an invitation in. You stay put. I'll go and make you one in the bistro while I still can. Emma's over at Steve's and Bethany's gone to her mum, so it'll just be me and Liam here later. Right, well, in that case, as soon as I've dropped off Jake's present, I'll be back. What present? It's at the shop. Oh, right, well, maybe I'll wear these for you later. Mm. As earrings and no else. <laughs> <laughs> See you then. See ya. Hey, party in here at three for Rita. Oh, OK. Mm. Hey, you know, uh, the best thing you can get yourself for Christmas? Getting shot of him. Mm. He's a cute, aren't they? To go with that car that you bought me. See, that's the thing about business. When sales are going well, you get big prizes, and when it's a little bit quieter, eh, you get cute ones. Second-hand furniture, eh? You know what? It's like there's more going on in that shop than you know. They wanted to keep her in. Tough. Who wants to spend Christmas in hospital? So I've told her she's stopping here with us, provided she wears a silly hat and she sings something. Has anyone fed Arthur, the cat? Yes, will you stop worrying about everybody else? I'll make myself scarce after three o'clock. Hey, who do you think this party's for? Oh. Well, I don't want any force, really. Fizz? <coughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Come in, Ruby. Over. Oh. Yeah. Can I take this thing off now? No, after we've ate. That was the forfeit. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> <sighs> the gun's gone. What? Do you go back there last night? No. Oh, Merry Christmas, guys. <sighs> and they got Jade. They've got crayon on them. What? Crayon? Are you joking me? All that money on toys and the girls go nicking my wooden spoon. I'm not dunking those crayony spoons in my gravy. The door won't force. Where are your keys? They're there. Gary, are you sure you locked up properly? I've had a lot on. Well, whoever it was, the gun's not there. Well, should we call the police? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you want Christmas dinner off your tray in your cell. You hear out, call me. Merry Christmas. Oh, does Daddy need this one? Oh, oh I like her. She's got red hair like Mummy. What's happened to her? I snapped her head off. Is there food? I'm starving. Yeah, wait for Daniel. Kitchen's closed, I'm afraid, but the drinks are on me. So... He is not starving. It's because I'm cooking the turkey. I think I might just try your veggie option. Yeah, well, you're not the first to ask. <laughs> mm -hmm. Vicky, at last. Carla, alcohol-free beer, just for you. Really? I suppose it's the first time for everything. Well, you and Peter will be smug tomorrow when all this lot are hungover. Oh, all this lot? What about you? 
Well, only the sober ones are going to remember Carlos Turkey, so uh, pass me a glass, please. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, one, I'm just, I'm just not sure it feels as good as I'd hoped. I've been loving it myself. Vicky, it's Christmas. Even enemies call a truce. Is that really what you've been calling me to say? He could have had us arrested. Do you know what? I shouldn't have rang you back. Right. No, listen, right? When I was a single parent, if I'd had a bloke who has what Robert's got, you know, like a work ethic and, and, a, and a shed load of guilt, I, I'd have kept him on my radar. Even if it was just to screw money out of him? You don't have to like him. How have you let him back under your skin? Say goodbye to Dee Dee and switch off that computer. Yeah. Look, she wants a photo. <clears throat> I thought you left it at the old house. What, where you hid it in the loft? You'll sleep under that quilt like you've always done on Christmas night, as long as you're under my roof. Your nana spent 12, 12 years, years and, and so in that. Yeah, yeah, like one week a year. Yeah. You're only jealous. Well, Michael's getting one. If this gets on Instagram... <laughs> Happy Christmas! Oh, happy Christmas! Uh, the key, yeah. Uh... Yes, thank you. I really appreciate this. It was a disaster yesterday when we tried to go. Go where? Wonderland. We're doing a surprise treasure hunt for David's birthday. There you go. The back gate. Oh, and lay off the mulled wine. <laughs> oh, got our own booze. Thank you very much. And a kid-free couple of hours. David's going to love it. <laughs> Thanks for this. I'll see you later. Bye, Bye. Private party at Winter Wonderland. What happened to family first? Yeah, well, I would have took family if Jenna was here. Actually, I would have just took Tiana, me and her. Well, we'd have followed to escape Dad's singing. <laughs> Glory. Well, you've Darren browned him with that video game. Just waved a selection box in his face. He didn't even blink. Must be a magician, eh? Mm. Oh, can you conjure me up a cup of tea, please? Some beers in the fridge and all, if you like. Unless you're saving yourself for Rita's party. Yeah, do you really want to go, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we should show our faces. Although, I bet Ali will be there. What was he on about this morning? No. He's just jealous. Can't handle the fact that you've got the looks, the girl, the property, her business. Maybe he should have left school earlier, eh? Mm -hmm. You don't know how hard you work in that shop. You should have heard him. There's more going on in there than you know. What, you said that? You said he'd been in the shop? Oh, no, no, I don't think he meant that. I don't know. Why are we talking about him anyway? Come here. Yeah, yeah, babe, don't hate me. Like I've got one more thing I need to do. What? I'm sorry, I won't be long. Harry! I'll never bend in the middle again. I could definitely taste the crayon from that wooden spoon. They're non-toxic anyway. Unlike Cerberus's tongue. Hey, my dog did not lick your turkey. That is slander. Bang, bang. Hope! Now leave the table now. Yeah, go on. Now, is everybody finished? Right, I'm going to take this out. Uh, 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 three. Hope! Three, two, one. Last time, and a half. did you touch them, please? No! What about when you wandered off yesterday? Did you go in the shop? You're hurry to me! Just answer me! I hate well, well, what's to do? Just when Gary came over before, um, he said that he'd been in the shop. Yeah, and look, flattered. I'm going to have to redo the whole hairdo. So someone's going to have to explain to Rita why I'm late. Everything OK? Yeah, yeah. Look, love, it's fine. Just right, OK, it. OK, OK. We said we'll go to a pub for an hour and then I'll have a chat to her, all right? OK. Gary shouldn't be bothering you about work stuff on Christmas Day. Guys, we're gonna have to hurry up because I think David knows we're up to something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, hide me first. I found the perfect spot. Um, I'll catch you up. Hey, how are you doing? We're sneaking in there to do a treasure hunt for David's birthday. I won't say Merry Christmas because it sounds a bit lame. Sorry, I can't speak to you. Not today. I oh. Hey, uh... One more joke about my cooking. You can tell them the turkeys in Eccles. That's the dog, not the place. Oh, what's Robert still doing hanging around? <clears throat> whatever happened to Pride? I text him. I repeat, whatever happened to Pride? Look, it's more complicated than you think. 
care to fill me in? No, not really. Now go on, off you pop. Hey. Right, <clears throat> here's the deal. She'll see you. You spoke to her? Yes, but only if I drive you there. If she reckons it'll be easier to send you back in if I'm there too. And I can't promise you anything. She's moving back to Ireland. Ireland? Yeah, she said she needs to be somewhere she knows, somewhere safe. Uh, 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 when? When? When's she leaving? First thing. And for good, so... Last chance to leave. Yeah, of course. Um... I'll just, uh... I'll clean myself up. Right. OK, so meet me back here in 20 minutes, all right? And do not mess me around. I won't. And so... Thank you. I'll see you in 20. Hey! Thought you'd show up. Hey, hey we miss a good party. What are you doing in my shop? Wow. This is the same what it used to be, is it? I want it back. Bit early for Argy Bargy, isn't it, lads? If I'd have wanted that, I'd have stopped at home with Stephen Tracy. Listen, you're working too hard, guys. Why don't you take Christmas off, eh? Hey, Rita's been through a rough time. If you're coming in, keep your head on, right? Good away you'll be. I'm meeting Robert in a couple of minutes. Yeah, all right then, bye. I thought this was a grown-ups party. Oh, don't. I just hope Lily doesn't find out. I've told him we can have one go, then I'll take him back if we can get the power on. I should have said we were getting the works. Yeah, she couldn't find the switch. She had to go and hide before David gets here, but I phoned Michael. Where is she hiding? Oh! Right, that's Bethany. Um, David's here now. Will you do me a favour? You just hide them presents and I'll, um, I'll keep him talking. This is great, isn't it? All right, found the treasure. Ah, yeah, you wish. Right, your treasure is wrapped in birthday paper. There you go. <laughs> you tinnies. <laughs> oh, come on, don't stop there. We'll be here all night. Hello. I hope you're somewhere comfy. Been a little bit well laid over here. <laughs> well, I'm in no rush. Cheers. Oh, and I've got your uh, main present here. So if you want it, come and get it. Woo! <laughs> Cheers, thank you. Hey, uh, you better not brought that weapon here. What weapon? The one you threaten my thumb with. All oh, right, yeah, don't worry about that. I don't put bottles of people in the drinking. Well, yeah, please. Hey, it's a good job it's not your drinking arm. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when it comes to a glass of fizz, I'm omnidextrous. No, you mean ambidextrous. I'm more than that. If necessary, I'll use my toes. <laughs> if you're looking for somewhere to sleep... You're right, Johnny, I'm not stopping. I just came to say thanks. What for? Well, I know I'm not the most popular person out here, but you were kind and... I wanted to thank you, make a bit of peace. I'm leaving. Where are you going? Well, Vicky's agreed to meet me before she goes back to Ireland. And I could work anyway, so I figure I'll move over there, somewhere nearby. And hopefully, at some point, she'll be glad I'm there to help with our son. And I can be a dad. Anyway. Hey, hey, look, stay two minutes, cos um, we're doing a toast to Rita. Oh, I need to buy some sellotape. I've got to wrap the present I've got for the baby. I can't be late for Michelle. Well, we've got sellotape. Where's the present? Uh, in the van, around the corner. I'm going to fetch it. Oh, egg. Oh, that's normally New Year's Eve behaviour. First Christmas without a dad. And to add to that, her and Seb are finished. Oh. This is way too generous. Yeah, he can take it back. 
She's kidding. She so isn't. Oh, you do crack me up. He <laughs> <laughs> could still take it back, though. It wasn't expensive. It was in the sales. What sales? Aren't you seeing Asha? Uh, no, actually, said, we said she had to wait until... Oh, nice one, Steve. Right, ladies and gentlemen, glasses in the air. Like you just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we do care, we do. We do. <laughs> now, we all know why we're here. Our Rita, she gave us a proper scare yesterday. So we thought we would lock her in the pub and fill her full of bubbles. <laughs> to Rita. To Rita. Fizz, would you like a glass of fizz? Ooh. Is like fizz. <laughs> oh, can I call Fizzy and Izzy the fizz? <laughs> right. Check this out. The receipt was in his coat pocket. 500 quid that phone cost him. 500 quid? Where'd you get that from? He's never spent that on me for Christmas, that's for sure. Or me. Hello. Hiya. Um, Eileen said she'll be here in a bit. She's a bit puffy from It's a Wonderful Life. <laughs> oh, right, well, you have a drink, love. Here you go, what's that here? It's a called, um, I think she's a soldier. Really small, made out of plastic. Where is it? Thank you. Guys, whiskey. Uh, sorry, mate. Private party. Johnny, yesterday I didn't think I'd be here. Let's not be stingy with Christmas. Guys, whiskey. We want the place full of your friends and neighbours. Whiskey. Hey, I'm not going to be on your side if you talk like that. Where's Gary Windus? Have you seen the cellar tip that was by the till here? Uh no. Where? Where is Gary Windass? Here! Why can't things stay put in this place? Robert needs it. Have you looked in the back room? I said, where is Whoa. Gary Windass? Whoa. Whoa. Nobody knows! I'm not allowed in the men's. He's got a gun. Who's got a gun? Well, I'm gonna go and get Tracy. Now stay there, Steve, stay there. What's going on out there? This this isn't you. It's not my fault. I should be with my kids. So, go and be with them, mate. Julia won't say where they are. Your wife, Julia. Oh, I'm busy. I'm not playing here. She called me a loser. I'm not a loser. I did everything in that house. I rewired it even. I laid a lawn for the boys. There's concrete before. And I never cheated. All the years we were married. I'm not a bad guy. Don't call the police. I, 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 I wasn't... Put it down. Oh, we'll right, take me Lord, seriously. Lord, put the gun down, Lord. Honestly, we understand. We sympathise. Where's Gary Windass? Where's Gary Windass? I've seen guns like that before. It's antique. Decommissioned. It's not going to fire, so I'll do yourself a favour and give it here, eh? I know guns, remember? I was a soldier. You give it here. I was a soldier. No, I'm telling you. It's useless. It won't fire. No. <laughs> Quiet! Shut up! You do as I say and only one person gets hurt. Be safe for stopping here. He's scared. Admit it. Because you know what's coming. Yeah, you've used one bullet, right? Means you've only got one more loaded. And what if you miss me, eh? Hey. It's someone else, man. You said yourself you're not a bad guy. I've got more bullets. Here. Ah! Oh! Stay back. 
Take your ear yeah, off. Go on, go on, use it on him. I'll have you before you can reload. It'll be your fault what happens to him. How's that gonna feel? Now you'll be doing me a favour, he's after my girlfriend. Now you're blagging. Nah, seriously. He's even more of a loser than you are. Don't call me that. Come on, Come on. loser. No, 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 no. An accident. It's been an accident. James, go back inside now. What? Go back inside. You said there's been an accident. Is someone hurt? It's just. It's just that I'm a nurse. Let's... Let's do as he says. Smart kid. Why don't I go and help? And, and James... James will go back inside like he said. James? Mum, I'm not leaving you. You've no reason to hurt him. Yeah, have you? I've shot one. What's to lose, eh? I've got nothing to lose now. James, indoors now. I'm going to go to whoever's had the accident. Robert, he's like, open your eyes for me, love. I'll call an ambulance and the police. I've put in a couple of curveballs in the Christmas playlist. 1989 hits for David's 30th. He's 29, and if you don't get the power on soon, we'll be singing them. Ah! ah. Mm. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, it's very cool, but you better be careful because it's rented, OK? Yeah, she's going to think I'm dead sexy in this, mm. isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Are you actually looking for me? No, the text message was meant to give you away where you are. Uh, yeah, nice try. I'm on silent. Right, well, hang on. I'll give you a clue where I am. Keep your ears out. Tell me if I'm warm. I wish I were blimmin' warm. Right, it's not safe. We need to get out. How can Mr. Health and Safety? Come out, come out, wherever you are. He's got a gun. He never actually went missing at all. I honestly thought he'd done something terrible. I'm almost on Robert's side now. Hey, come on. He lied to us both for months. I said almost. Yeah, well, he's blowing it this time. Told him I wouldn't wait. Vicky says that he's dead to her now. And quite frankly, he's dead to me and all. I mean, he's had the last laugh, hasn't he? Eh? Both me and Vicky wasting our Christmas days running round after him. I'm looking for Michelle. What kind of an idiot gives up his last chance of seeing his kid just to score points? It's ridiculous. Shall we go get outside? Huh? Something's happened to Robert. Come on. Oh, darling, listen. Pull the kid. You're just going to play hide and seek, and you just need to be quiet as a mouse. Know where you are. It's not safe. Ah! Uh, ow! What? 
Cramp. Look, I'm dead serious. There's a man with a gun. <laughs> yeah, right. OK, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a clue. I'm in a box. Just get behind something proper, like a, a wall or something. Come and find me. As soon as he turns his back, I'm going to get him out of here, all right? You just keep back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, Bethany. Party time, is it? Oh, please, have a word with a child as a shield. You wouldn't hurt a kid. You don't know what I'd do. Right. The way I see it, you've only threatened people to. I shot one. Probably dead now. Who? Not in here, you haven't. They'd have locked me away. All right, mate, let's get you back to your mum. Move away from the kid! Okay, you see, you're scaring him now. I mean, come on, you've got kids, eh? Just let me give him to his mum. And you get a free shot at me, won't you? Can't miss. Kids TV in the 1970s. No tar. You all right, man? Not in there? No. See, it's very vocals, right? Sooty! What? Well, naked, Sooty. Uh, Not a yes. Look, girl, I have told you. It's the very vocals. I haven't started yet. Oh, and I've got pins and needles in the fingers. I've been leaning on them too long. Oh, dear. You get first. Come on. I'm hungry. What time did Sean say she'd be back? I hope Sean's never back. Oh, Max, but if you're going to be like that, love, go back upstairs, please. Oh, dear. Oh, my Lord. What's happening out here? Is it Little House on the Prairie? There's police everywhere. What if you'd shot him? He didn't. Get with this, okay? And when we do, let's get married. I love you. Marry me. Let's be a proper family. What are you doing? One knee. Just stay still. Yes, of course I will. Just stay still. So 
Soldier boy. Where's your tin at? The police said we've got to stay here. How many bullets were with the gun? Please say that wasn't the gun from the shop. No, don't. Don't say a word to the police, not yet, all right? Boy. How many bullets? Four. I think. Four. Why? Four. Or was it five? Might have been five. Next year for my birthday, just get me slippers, all right? Deal. I love you, Shona. I love you too. Your next thing that moves gets a bullet. You listen to Windass, and it's all on you. to go away for a bit. His, um, his presents for the kids in the boot of the car. And his shin pads for Patrick. You tell him Where are I want him to wear them. Where? He's got to stop thinking he's weak to protect himself. And there's a pogo stick for Robin. This will be for you too. I've been unlucky. Not bad. It's tickets. Cheap seats. Sorry. It's that, that Mormon show. I just thought if we could, if we could laugh again together. I think it'll, it'll all be all right. This isn't fair. Not fair. Oh, please! Oh, please! Put down your gun! Get back inside! Oh, 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 get out! 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 Get Your name on it. Ah, four shots. <laughs> you don't. <done. laughs> Yeah. 
Bethany. She's okay. She's okay. I just want to see oh. Bethany. The police will bring her out. Two casualties, one conscious, gunshot wound. Bethany? Bethany's been shot. Comfort. The doctors give you a sick note for why you stood me up. You tell Vicky. No, not yet, but I will. No. Well, let's wait till you're better, eh? No, please. I'm not even sure I'm allowed to use my phone in here. Please. I need, I need her to know. Kids, it's Michelle. Listen, you're not going to believe this. Robert's only gone and got himself shot. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, not by me. Anyway, that's why he didn't turn up today. So let us know where you fetch up in Ireland, yeah? I'll be there. I will. He'll be there. For my son. Oh, my little boy. Oh, what did she say? She said she bets there's tons of suspects. <laughs> Said that you should come in and get some food. They're calm. Harry might need us to be normal for a bit. I'll catch you up. I hope Sharon is okay. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'm just so glad that he's dead. She was just trying to give David a nice birthday. I thought it was you that was shot. I thought it was you. I'm OK. So I'd, um, I'd done some business with him at the factory. Sorry, can I just say one thing? Look, I know we've had our ups and downs, like, big time. But what you did for Harry... You are the bravest man I have ever met, bar none. I just wanted to say that. Thank you. There's a fine line between bravery and stupidity. Spoken like a true solicitor. She's waiting for surgery. But it could have been a lot worse, apparently. Oh, Bethany, Sarah. Well, shake and all right, I think. <sighs> and Max? I told him that he didn't bring this on Shona. You just look after David and Shona. I'll do with the rest, love, honestly. Max will be fine. Apparently, the operation should be straightforward. <sighs> Not my favourite kind of operation. Promise me you'll never sit in a Christmas box with fake snow and get shot by some random weirdo ever again. I promise. 
I am. I, I didn't give you a present. Oh, it's fine. Okay. I was really scared. I'm sorry. I don't ever want to be without you. Good. Hi. Now, these are on me. Not one of you would let me buy a drink earlier, so I'm looking after you now. Oh, oh, geez, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I love these. Much nicer than real cherries. In drinks, I mean. I don't like these on trees. Too sticky. Hey, you know, um... You know what you were saying about... Alina the other day? About, about how I feel? I don't, you know? You shouldn't have dumped me. Well, I dumped me for you. You should have dumped yourself. I didn't want to dump you. She was dead calm, chatting to a gunman like it was normal. And then, then she tried to save Robert. Well, I wasn't calm, not inside. Hmm. I wasn't calm either, especially when I saw the gun for the first time. And then when they were doing CPR on him, after he fell, I was like, I mean, what if he wakes up or something? Well, they probably knew they, they couldn't save him. I am never letting you out of my sight again. Right, uh, not to Carl. She just told me Robert's critical. Oh, poor thing was. Oh, I'd better go and check the oven as well. No, no, no. I've, I've done it. Like, the house is still standing, but the uh, the turkey's burnt to a crisp. But the vegetarian option's not even gone in yet. Well, you did say you all wanted it. Hey, Peter. Any news on Shona? Yep. She's uh, still waiting for surgery. Uh, what about our hero? And Gary. Um. Maria said that uh, she's finally persuaded him to go to the hospital. Well, it looks like you and Johnny will be staying with me tonight. And there was us trying to offer you sanctuary. Oh, well, let's see what the police say. But there's room at the inn if you need it. Anyway, you know, it has been a frightening day, but it's still Christmas Day. Have they got a jukebox? Nah, these spit and sawdust places, honestly. <laughs> I can put something on my new phone. No, I can put something on my new phone. Are oh, you going to be like this all night? Steve, you left me for dead. I was coming back for you. Uh, do the speakers do Bluetooth? Or is it blue teeth if there's more than one? Hey, you could sing some of <laughs> Yeah, any requests? Dad, she was talking to Rita. Oh, do you sing an old? Uh, yeah, a little. Yeah, a little loudly. <laughs> hey, how about have yourselves a merry little Christmas? Kid ourselves. Well, we wouldn't be kidding ourselves, really. We're all here, aren't we? Looking after each other. Well, well let's raise our glasses first day um, to Shona for a quick recovery. And uh, Robert. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your hearts be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay From now on Our troubles will be miles away Here we are As in olden days Happy golden days of your faithful friends who are dear to Back with a brand new series, Sarah Parrish stars in Bancroft New Year's Day evening at nine and continues at the same time on Thursday and Friday. But next tonight here on ITV, three famous faces take their place in the hot seat to try and win big money for charity in Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Celebrity Special. If the fates 